Hi, this is Pete Singer, editor of Semiconductor Digest, and I'm here at Semicon West 2023 in our own booth, and I'm talking to Mikolai Trunin, who is the deputy director for Invest in Pomerania, which is in Poland, of course, and uh, you've just uh, a new member of Semi. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Okay, well, and why why have you joined Semi? What's the, what's the goal there? Yeah, g- generally like, this step like was the was the result of the uh, of the strategy that has been elaborated by the World Bank for us. Because uh, as the institution that attracts foreign business, uh, we are already 12 years old. When we turned 10, we thought that it's time that we uh, reinvent our strategy of attracting business. Uh, and we asked the World Bank for, for the possibility to cooperate, right? So the World Bank, first of all, they did uh, an impact report on our activities within the last decade. Uh, and then they also showed us which sectors we should uh, we should target, right? A semiconductor business was one of the sectors, right? So because the World Bank checked the FDI flows globally, uh, they checked our assets, like what the region offers uh, to different sectors uh, of industry, and semicon like was was one of the industries that the World Bank suggested. So the joining semi was the step that we eventually followed the, the instructions of the World Bank. And one of the things we want to talk about is the new industrial park that you're creating in Poland for the semiconductor industry. But already, uh, Intel's a big investor there, uh, correct? Yes, it's, they are not located in, in our semicon park. That's uh, in the in the other part, right? But the Intel's investment, it's, it's just like the first step of the semicon industry moving uh, east uh, towards Eastern Europe, right? So uh, because previously all major projects were located uh, within Germany, Austria, Netherlands, France. Uh, and now we see that because of the talent availability mainly uh, and uh, plots av- availability, the sector is moving uh, towards Eastern Europe. Uh, right, so our, uh, our industrial park is 400 uh, hectares uh, of greenfield, uh, of course. Uh, it's located within Gdańsk agglomerations, which is like 1.6 million people, the biggest agglomeration in North Poland, the biggest, one of the biggest agglomerations in the whole Baltic Sea area. Uh, so the plot is within uh, the agglomeration, like 20 minutes uh, away from Gdansk airport, 20 minutes away from Gdansk uh, downtown, which means that the accessibility for the talent is uh, is just perfect. And at the same time, it's located at the at the junction uh, at the motorway junction. Okay. And could you talk a little bit about the infrastructure that's already there in terms of universities and other companies that are involved in the IT and in the semiconductor sector? Yes, uh, so so generally like our region, like it's like one of the best regions for uh, for IT projects. So lots of uh, software development, uh, embedded systems, and also hardware design. Like of course, Intel is, uh, is the best example. Intel in Gdansk, they have their biggest European research and development center. Uh, over 4,000 people uh, working there, mainly uh, IT, AI, embedded systems, but also like companies such as Amazon. Uh, if you are using Alexa, Alexa is developed in Gdansk, right? Also like one of the biggest uh, research and development centers in, in, in Poland. Uh, it, but also like a number of other companies, including Synopsys, for example, which is uh, which is also doing software for the semicon uh, business. But a lot of uh, electronics manufacturing companies, such as uh, JBL, uh, Flex, like Rua Electronics, it's it's all their active, for example. Yeah, so so it's all there. So the talent availability is uh, is is just there. Okay, that's wonderful. That's important. And uh, of course, sustainability is important. And I understand that you have some offshore energy and already dedicated to the new site. Uh, can you talk about that? The offshore wind is coming. The first projects will be operating in 2026. Uh, generally, by 2030, uh, we'll have six gigawatts of offshore wind energy connected to the grid. 2030, that will be over 11 gigawatts. We know that all big projects, when they come, they want to be 100% green, right? So this is what we can provide to this big uh, industrial project. Okay. And probably the most important question, how can people get involved? How can they get in touch with you? What, what's the next step to uh, to invest in your area? I yeah, just like just to connect with us, right? Because we, we provide, as an investment promotion agency, we provide like full scope of services, like beginning with information uh, on the region, like which sectors are developing, what's the talent pool availability, what are the salary levels. We provide investment offers, whether it's greenfield, brownfield. Uh, offices. Uh, we do networking with potential suppliers uh, or clients, uh, and yeah, just uh, uh, investingpomerania.pl uh, and all the contacts there. Okay. Well, thank you, Mikolai. Thank you. Appreciate it's my it. Pleasure.